friends, how are you? Hope everything is good with you guys. Um, if you're new to my channel, welcome. If you're returning to my channel, welcome back. Um, if you guys have not hit that subscribe button, I am, um, would wish you would hit that for me. Um, more videos can get out there for other people to see if you hit that subscribe button for me. Um, and if you like this video, please hit that subscribe hit that like button for me. Today I want to do a walkthrough and this is the Oracle deck to the uh, Antique Anatomy Tarot. Okay. I absolutely love this deck. Um, so I had to get the Oracle to go with it. Um, and this one is Memento More, Lenormand and Oracle deck. And it is by Claire. Uh, good child. So it's the same, same author. Um, it came with a little bag to put the cards in, which is really nice. Um, I think because it is like a linen, I think I'm gonna stitch on there the name like Memento um, because I am a uh, stitcher, um, embroidery. So I think that might be nice to do that. So that is that. It came with just a little, I don't know if you'd call it a white book or what. It's just a, uh, it's maybe about 10 pages. And basically it just has the meanings of the cards um, on here. So it says, uh, Momento More, uh, remember you must die is what that means in Latin. An artistic and symbolic reminder of the inevitability of a death. Thick smoke wraps around your neck like bony fingers playfully teasing your skin. The cobblestone streets are alive with the sounds and smells of a new day. White topped tents are filled with grains and linens for purchase and men in black wool coats chat away while the women ponder over the day's choices. The damp stones underneath your feet feel cool and the faint scant of canna lilies linger in the air. Each step closer sends a shiver up your spine. You see it now, the kirkyard is just ahead. The faded signs reads. Momento more. <laughs> That's really pretty cool. So this is an 85 card oracle deck, depicting the ritualistic and horror, her historical objects we use in life and death. So there it is. It says a warning. This deck should be cleansed often to remove the buildup of stagnant and other world energies. Okay, so there's the book. Not very much, but enough that you need. Here is the box. There's the back of the box. It just comes in a tuck box. So you open it up. And this came with a little card for the black and the moon tarot and spirituality. Spirituality. I believe she's going to be doing a new deck. Um, a spark of genius comes into play with the second card of the major arcana, the magician. What ideas are you ready to teach out and grab? All the skills you need to bring a project to life already exists and you and now is the time to dig deep into the order to manifest them. The magician is the first of the bridges between the spirit realm and the physical realm and has his energy encourages you to become the architect of your own life. It is especially important to approach situations and goals with a creative flair 
while you have the support of the universe. When this card appears, be prepared to channel confidence so you can. I'm sorry, guys. It must be the day of phone calls today because um, I've gotten several while doing walkthroughs. So I don't remember where I left off. I'm probably going to go back just a tiny, tiny bit. It says the magician is the first of the bridges between the spirit realm and the physical realm, and his energies encourage you to become the architect of your own life. It is especially important to approach situations and goals with a creative flair while you have the support of the universe. When this card appears, be prepared to channel confidence so that you can accomplish greatness beyond your wild, wildest dreams. So there's the card. Okay, so let's get on to this deck. These backs of this card are pretty cool. Um, it's got the cross skulls, but they're like an antique old, you know, the blacks are not perfect on these. And I kind of like that because this deck, for me, feels like an older type deck. And I like the way that she did that on these. So the card stock is good. Um, not a bad card stock at all. I'm trying to see if it has who, um, it doesn't say on here, if it has a copyright or anything on here. I didn't look. 2019 copyrighted. And it is um, Claire Goodchild, a black and the moon in Toronto, Ontario, Canada. So that is um, who printed it. So 2019 copyright. So here is the first card. Oh, I gotta have something to put my arm on, guys. Let's use this. So here's the first card and this is Horseshoe. I love the black roses. Um, like I said, I like the deep, dark, creepy decks anyway. So these are really cool. Next, we have Clover. I love the Clovers on there. We have the uh, Wheel. Love that uh, skull in the middle there. Love this grave. With the flowers going up the grave. It's so pretty. Here we have the gallows. We have smoke. I'm so glad I got this snake because I love the antique anatomy <clears throat> um, deck. It is gorgeous, and these will go so great with it, with um with this deck. The casket. In loving memory, and this is the wreath. The scythe. Like I said, if you guys don't like deep ducks, you won't like this one because this is pretty deep. This is the whip. I love the antique um, colors around. I love. Those colors are so pretty. <clears throat> the bat, how she did the uh, the creams with the blendedness of the antique-ish is really cool. 
the child. It says I'm on here, Etsley Photo Company, Company, West Studio, New York, New York. really cool. Next we have the fox. Skull of the fox. Pretty cool. We have the bear. Skull of the bear. We have the star. I love that hand. It's just holding on to that, you know, with its hand up. Okay, excuse me just for a second. I'm just going to hit this fan on because my dog is panting and I'm panting. So give me a second. Sorry guys. Ugh, I feel the sweat on my forehead. Okay. So, back to the cards. We have Raven. I love that Raven. I love blackbirds. I love ravens, crows, um, any of the blackbirds. Next, we have the dog or dog. Here we have the spine, but this is on the tower. We have cemetery. It says vacant and occupied. So vacant's on this side, occupied is on that side. Pretty cool. A blisk. Crossroads. I love the hands on there. We have rats. Heart. Ring. That's cool. This one I love. Book. We have letter. That's pretty cool. Um, this one is man and it says O Sullivan and Popovich L T D. This one is woman and it says compliments of C I N company. Next we have lilies and they're one of my favorite flowers ever. Next we have sun. Again, we have that hand there. We have the moon. This is a very substantial oracle deck. Um, and I, I like that. We have key. I love that they put that mouth. You know, the key, the top of the key is a mouth on that skull. 
It's really cool. We have fish. That blackness of those fish there. Anchor. I love the flowers in this. I think that's another reason I really like this deck. The colors of the flowers and stuff are so pretty. We have the blacks and the whites and the greens. We have a, a we have cross. Poison. Awesome. We have salt. Need our salt, huh, for protection. Cup. I love the flowers coming out of the cup. Next, we have perfume, and that's a Violetta. Violet. Violet. We have a lantern. The imagery is so cool in these. Uh, hourglass. <laughs> Mirror. That's pretty cool. I love this broom. That is so awesome. We have scale. Looks like they're way in the brain. Next we have sign and it says funeral. We have spirit board. That's really, this is a really cool. It says, hello, yes, no. It has the alphabet, the numbers, and goodbye. <laughs> That's really cool. That would be so cool to do this, that figure right here in an embroidery um, to put on the wall. I might have to think about that. That might be a cool idea. Tassography. Chiromancy. I love this um, crystal ball. You can kind of see that figure of the skull in that. That's really really cool. Teapot. Crown. So amazing. Candle. Oh, wouldn't that be cool to have a a skull like that with a candle that you could put the candles in? Ladder. Love the old wooden ladder. Pop it. Look at that. That's cool. The flowers like sticking out of that pop up. That's pretty neat. Scissors.
the sass shut. Kind of reminds me of the one that she put put in there. Globe. I absolutely love these cards, guys. I hope you like them as well. They are so, so neat. Watch. This next one is pretty cool. The Plague, Plague Doctor. It's, I love the mask there. It's pretty cool. Very reminiscent of um, death. I've Every time I see a mask like that, I think of death for some reason. Lock. Knife. We have pot. That flower is gorgeous. <clears throat> we have coins. And I love the lilacs on there. We have the purple lilac and we have the white lilac. Next we have Cure and the bottle says Remedy. Um, can't read the that part. It says Blood Purifier, Burbank Industries. Pretty neat. Syringe. And look at this old syringe, guys. Look at the size of that needle. I sure the heck would not want to poke myself with that every day. I do have diabetes, so I do have to give myself a shot several times a day. But I certainly wouldn't want to do it with that one. Mort Bell. Shovel. Looks like he's they're scooping up some brains there. Charm. Embalming fluid, it says, I believe, stub embalming number one, maybe chemical company, I'm not sure. That's kind of creepy. Embalming fluid. Rope. Pedestal. I know it'll start itching because of the fan. It always does. The old medicine medical kit. It's pretty neat. Sextant. Viewing table. Glove. Can't wait to read with these cards with the Antique Anatomy Tarot. It'd be up. pretty cool. Pillar.
We have harp. Aw, oh, tear catcher. This one's creepy too. Amputation. <clears throat> I'm sorry, ampu amputation saw. That's kind of creepy. <laughs> Door. Cat. Urn. That's pretty. Offerings. And last but not least, Momento More. And again, Momento More, if I can turn the page. And this book means remember, you must die. In Latin. I love this deck, guys. I think this is a really cool Oracle deck. Um, Again, this has a lot of cards, um, 68 to be exact, and it's going to be a fun read. Um, I'm looking forward to it. So I hope you guys like this. If you did, please hit that subscribe button for me so more people can get out there and see these videos um, and hit that like button. If there's any comments you want to leave, I do answer all my comments. So please uh, comment down in the comment section. I love you guys. Until next time, Mwah. have a wonderful, beautiful day.